draw. No! Throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there has always been an established meta. And that meta goes on to influence what people typically play at the larger events. But what if you took a list of every deck from the September 2011 meta, randomized them, and put them into their own single elimination bracket tournament, allowing for exactly one of every different type of deck to be represented? In this series, Joe and I will be playing out a full single elimination bracket tournament. Each week, Joe and I will be playing a different deck, and whatever deck wins will move on, and whatever deck loses will be eliminated. The goal of this series is to see if the traditional meta will reign supreme, or if a new champion will be crowned. Be prepared for jank winning, meta losing, and for the format as we know it to be turned upside down. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments. Alright, we back in at Tournament of Tournaments, episode 15. We almost to that sweet halfway spot, and I am on a loose streak. And it feels really bad. <laughs> so, uh, hoping we can pick up a win today so I don't drop down to the negative three spot, you know. But, that being said, we are playing Water Synchro. Now, this is actually a really interesting deck. It, it topped YCS Brighton. It actually got top four um, in 2011. And this was post-Dino Rabbit. So, like... It's kind of crazy, right? Like, I, I don't think that's that bad. Um, it's kind of basically its own version of Tengu Plants, except instead of running, like, the Tour Guide engine, it's just opting to run Frogs, uh, which I find, like, kind of interesting. It's, like, it's like a bit bizarre, right? Um, there are some opportunities for plays with, like, bringing back a Ronin Tone and bouncing for a Birdman and then, like, normal summoning something else, you know? Um... It has some has some nifty plays, and I think it's really just trying to abuse the fact that enemy controller is just such an insane card, especially in combination with Treeborn Frog. Um, but for the most part, it's kind of just like Tango Plants, <laughs> and uh, you know, there's not really much else to say about it. So uh, let's hop over. Let's see what Joe's playing. All right, today I'm going to play a Diva Hero deck. Diva Hero. About a year prior, saw some popularity after Absolute Zero was released. Everybody wanted to play it. This deck, I've cut some of the heroes in the deck, like Alias, and just Malicious might be a little bit of a liability, so there might be a deck construction issue with this reinforcements of the army having only one target that I realized after playing with it. However, the underlying strategy here is to utilize Miracle Fusion with the hero slash D.Va to obviously go into absolute zero. You also have the Shining with Effect Veilers and Elements of Hero Gaia when you side in the Maxis or have Gachi Gachi hit the graveyard through the double, double D.Va that two level twos allow you to make. But it's a pretty sweet deck, definitely a cool deck, definitely for those players who are nostalgic for hero strategies, this was a pretty awesome option. All right, Joe, summer is coming to an end, but we're still taking a dive into some water decks to cool off. How are you feeling about busting out the Edison special? Oh, Diva Heroes? Yeah, I guess you could call that a Edison popular deck. Yeah, it's interesting. I changed it a little bit, but it's it's still an interesting deck. Okay, interesting. Uh, I actually played this at a regional, not around this time period, but when Destiny Draw was at one, I remember I went to a regional after Absolute Zero got first released. That was pretty awesome with a an Absolute Zero hero strategy. Yeah, I think t everyone kind of tampered with it because everyone kind of liked Teledad a bit too, you know, or like mm -hmm. had some fond memories. So he's kind of like. You get that Teledad feel with Absolute Zero. It feels kind of good. Um, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, actually, so I lost, which means I get to go first. Yeah. So what do we got here? Um, I went paper. Take paper. Mm -hmm. All right. I have not really played much of this Water Synchro list, so I'm kind of excited to see how it does. Um, oh, it's super powerful. Yeah, it did do well at a YCS. I don't remember which one. It did well the format prior during the original Tengu plant format. I remember at Providence it had a few slots. Actually, a friend of mine from the general area top 32'd with Water Synchro at that event. Oh, nice. 
Alright, well, I'm just gonna lead off with a set and a pass. <laughs> Alright, I'll pass back. I'll draw. I think I'll just set another one and pass again. Dark hole, you hit a treeborn and a ronin. Fair. Alright, we'll draw for turn again. We'll go standby phase, and I'll bring back the treeborn. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna pass. <laughs> We got a lot going on this game. Sure do. All right, I'll let you summon Caius. <laughs> that does sound pretty cool. <laughs> but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna MST this. It's like a tour guide. Sure. I'll uh put end base and get my frog back. <laughs> Fast. Fact. Yeah. Take the thousand and I will drop gores. Draw for turn. I will go standby phase, and I think I will elect to bring back the tree one for one. Yep. Is that okay? All good. Well, suppose I will. Enter battle phase and attack. Yep. Alright. Well. I'll pass back to you. <laughs> Alright. Oh. No, I don't want you to see this. <laughs> You're gonna know how awful my hand is. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a Can I see the game. sorry. Can I see the hand again? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Guess I'll do effect mailer. Sure. <clears throat> that makes sense. I'll just Go battle phase then and swing in for 27. Okay. Sorry. Wrong place, but 27. I see. Okay. So, you got Tragodia. I'll go main two. Yep. Do I want to deal with this Trigodia? I feel like I kind of do. Uh, all heavy. Do I get the Phoenix Wing? No. I'll put the Treeborn to attack mode. Uh, sure, I'm gonna chain Econ. Yep. And take the track. I'll, uh... Activate the effect targeting my Ronin Totem. Mm-hmm. Normal summon junk synchron and activate the effect. 
targeting Ronin Totem. Yeah. And I guess we'll just synchro for five. I'll make a little librarian. And then I will just pass back to you. Get Dark Hole. <laughs> Go. Interesting. Draw for turn. Let's do standby. Get back the frog. Switch token to attack. Attack for a thousand. Mm -hmm. Attack for twenty four. Oh, sorry. There's the gores. Uh, are you putting the gores? I'm thinking about this just for a split second. Yeah, it has to be in defense. Okay. I will... Yeah, I guess I will... We're going to attack the token here. And then I'll main two. Tribute for Caius. And banish your gores. And I will... Pass back to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What was in your hand? Like malicious. <laughs> Just nothing. <laughs> the good old Diva Hero special of drawing double malicious or something. It's a bummer. Like Caius. Mm, I see. Alright, well. Let's go to game two. All right, let's go into the game two. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm gonna one up you. <laughs> Pass. Draw. Standby main. Yep. I'll MST that. It's the Phoenix. I will reborn your Mali, and I'm just going to tribute it for Vanity's Fiend. Sure. Swing in for 24. And I'll pass to you. Oh, Joe, you can do it. Uh, at resolution, I'm going to crow the thing. Perfect. Yep. The token. We have the gores. Mm. Is there a black rose? Yeah. What if my last card is Vader? Well, <laughs> well hand trap. Of course, DD Crow Valor. <laughs> Would be kind of sick, uh, but instead it's a set and pass, unfortunately. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> Bonk. 
except Go ahead. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right. It's a card. I'll set one, and I just got to pass back to you. Go. Drop. Again. <laughs> God. Yes, that's fine. In each. All Indeed. Right. I can do this. <clears throat> dark hole, I mean. Yeah. It's could be worse. That's the dark hole. But you do get the Sangin search, which does feel kind of stinky. <clears throat> And that is the extent of my power play. <laughs> We're down three cards, no problem. Into a diva, sure. You know it. Oh my gosh. Is this the deadly 400 damage? Okay. Big draws. <laughs> yep, <laughs> big draws, big draws. <laughs> I don't know, I think this water hero deck doesn't like me very much, you know. Uh, we got 900, sure. Draw. Anything? Nope. Alright. I'm gonna... Gonna heavy for the value. There. Nice. That's progress. Unfortunately, don't really have much else to do. I'll set one, set one, and pass. I think. If dueling book allows me, I will pass. There we go. You sure you're playing diva hero <laughs> i know seriously <laughs> all right i'll draw and i'm gonna get some sick nasty value from the normal summon of this caius i'll banish that damn it all right i guess i knew you searched that Baylor, so we'll swing it all right that's it we're crawling back Oh, God. <laughs> um, would you like to declare priority? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I have to econ. We're living on a prayer here. I can do this. Give me a top deck game. That's something. That's actually good. Holy shit, that's actually really good. Mind control. Uh, I wish. That, that'd that be better. This is still, this still has a lot of counterplay on your end. But it is the best play, so I have to do it. Summon Junk Synchron, target Spore. All right, I guess I'll DD Crow the Spore. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, well, in that case, how much damage is this? It's like... It's not game, I guess. 
attack. I'll go main phase two. And I will, uh, guess a hazard. <laughs> oh. Oh god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just game right there. I'm going to attempt to enter battle phase. Entering battle phase is fine. Well, then that's... Yeah, it's definitely game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My goal, which honestly I was thinking about it, maybe there is a better option than target explore. I guess it didn't matter. Um, because there's no way I get the other non-tuner on board. But my goal mm -hmm. was to do the black rose, banish my own spore, and then switch BLS to attack. Mm -hmm. Uh but alright, you know what? Game three. We're back to the spicy game threes. I'm down for it. <laughs> believe swap frog or tangu give it to me game all right not bad i draw for turn you stand by main i'm gonna do something for the first time this entire game this all <laughs> I, yeah, we'll dump a tree board and i will bounce back to hand and pass Sangin. I'll take the thousand. Draw. No! Joe, how are you always opening your dust shoot? I don't know. <laughs> the dueling book one of algorithm in play. So yeah. good of Caius. That does make a lot of sense. Alright. Well, in standby phase, I'll bring back the frog. Yeah. I guess we'll go main one and just normal swap frog. Yep. Yeah. Dump a Ronin. Sure. And <laughs> we'll just bounce the hand and pass. <laughs> don't know if you gave me. Although I don't think you can. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, the brutal one. That's pretty good. Take the 24. Alright. Game. There's really just not a whole lot of options here. Um, mm, I really don't want to just give you a diva summon. <laughs> it feels so bad. Uh, God, what do I do? Uh, go standby main. Search. Dump a another treeborn. I think. Yeah. Bounce to hand. <laughs> Set a card. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. I think I'll Valor the Diva. Sure. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take two hundred. 
Thompson. And I'm just gonna econ that to defense. I'm gonna sink around to something. What it's gonna be, I'm not positive. If I go into Scrap Dragon, you just enemy controller and use Scrap Dragon on himself. So that's not great. If you go into Cataster, you enemy controller it and attack the Caius. But it's not the worst. It's actually not that bad. Baylor, interesting. Go. Huh. Oh, sorry. So you didn't pick DD Crow, which makes me feel like here on my standby phase. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Felt like that was a probable situation we had here. Um, luckily, I did draw a pretty good card. Finally. So I can kind of play the game. And we're gonna normal summon Tangu and attack the Kaius. Question is, is this going to be too late? I'm gonna set a card and pass. Oda is fine. No effect. No effect. Let's see. We'll take a hundred. Get another one. I'm assuming you're attacking it. Yep. Get the last one. I will draw. That is not bad. Standby main phase. So you probably have Miracle Fusion, which complicates things a bit. I can go for a spicy play. It's a bit greedy. But it could be worth it just to potentially win the game here. Oh, I think I'm going to do it. We're going to gamble. We're going to take the cat. Then I'm going to Avarice. Do you have the crow? No. Nice. Exactly five. Oops. All right, heart of the cards. Oh, that's, that's not terrible. Not that good. I was hoping to rip a Van D Swing. That was the goal. No, it's probably more worth to just do this, I suppose. Oh shit. I mean, it's fine. I'm still gonna synchro. And make myself. <clears throat> oh wait, nah. We actually need to be smart about this. We'll go Orient Dragon. Fuck! I, fit, I mean, I knew you had MST, so it's not. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But... And after using Enemy Controller, it's yeah, pretty obvious. It's pretty safe to assume. It's fine. But I don't want to give a water monster up for it. So we're going to swing in with Orient Dragon. <clears throat> and... Uh... I'm not looking forward to this Miracle Fusion. Yeah, there's the boy. <clears throat> Summon is 
obviously fun. <laughs> there is no other water, so you can't double Miracle Fusion me here. No tour guide, thank god. <laughs> <clears throat> Drop. Go standby main. I don't even know what to do. Oh, we'll summon swap frog. Activate effect. Resolves. What can I do? Again. Oh, it's so many resources to do this. Oh god. I'll dump a Ronin. <laughs> I'll bounce to hand. I'm gonna one for one pitching swap frog. Yeah. Special summon. Where's it at? A Veiler. Yeah. Oh. Is a... There's a high percentage chance I get OTK'd if I don't do this, so I'm gonna just do this. And pray this stalls. Okay, interesting. I would recommend tribute setting for malicious and packs. No, no, that's not on the table. <laughs> could be good. It'd be really good. Like you'd, you'd blow up my two monsters with with one card. It'd be sick. <laughs> I had I guess. All right, game. Could have been so good. God dang it. I'm gonna set another card and I'm gonna pass. Any line, no spore. Okay. I wish it was Andy, that'd be sick. Well, we'll space one of them just to get use out of this card. That one. All right. Draw. Ooh. That is a card. It is technically good enough. We're going to storm. Sure. I'm going to reborn. reborn. Get your Catasaur. or kill the response to this. I don't think there's anything that can respond to this. I mean, I can affect Valor. You know I have oh. affect Valor. I mean, it's... True, 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 true. That's why that was so painful. It was like, do I use all three of the cards that I have? But Freebun Frog, Enemy Controller, and Effect Veiler. It was vanities. I mean, I guess Econ... Uh, I mean, Econ doesn't necessarily save you. Like, yeah, I just didn't think about the Veiler. But I don't think I had... There's nothing I yeah. could have brought back that could swing over. So I had to go Cat. I figured these two cards were dead. So I figured my... I mean, one of them could be Gores, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally just exited it out, but one of them could have been Gores. Yeah, my goal was just to kill the Ab Zero and then Glow Bulb to tribute for Vanities and hope I can win off that board. 
That was like my only possible play. <laughs> but unfortunately, I couldn't break through. God, that felt so bad. I swear I was just drawing absolute nothing for like 40 turns in a row. Surprisingly, you didn't really have much going on for you either. So no. I don't know. I don't know. It was a weird, that was a weird matchup. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Tournament of Tournaments. I can't help but think maybe I should have just full committed on that last turn and, like, made Bryanak and, like, you know, then tributed for the, like, tribute the Spore for Vanities and just left with nothing but Vanities on board. That might have been the play. I don't know. It was kind of tough to say. It all felt pretty awkward, but, yeah, who knows. That being said, um... If my energy levels seemed a little down in this video, it's because, honestly, they were. Uh, I work at a college and semester starting, which is why I have been slam busy and, honestly, haven't had time to upload as much as I would like to. But this series does upload every single week on Friday. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you can tune in to that. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a great time doing today.